Tonight we are heading to the Tangaluma Rex on Moreton Island. Come with us as we explore this exciting location. Moreton Island will become known as Malgumpin as the island has been returned to the traditional owners, the Kwandamuka people. The Queensland Government finally agreeing to settle native title on the treasured sand island in 2019. They fought for decades to be recognised as the traditional owners. I would like to acknowledge the Kwandamuka people, the custodians of these lands, waters and seas, and I pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. As the moon rose over Mars, we headed to the wrecks for a weekend with friends. Arriving in dead calm conditions at midnight, we anchored and fell asleep, ready to explore in the morning. Of course, the first thing we decided to do was to explore the wrecks. We all jumped in with our snorkels. A few years ago, the wrecks were cut down to the high tide watermark for safety reasons. The wrecks were put there deliberately in the 60s, 70s and 80s as a safe haven for boats. Today they are an adventure park for swimming, diving, fishing and boating. There are camping facilities metres away and a ferry that pulls right up on the beach. After our swim, we headed to the beach to explore. Okay, so I've just climbed up a sand dune and I'm at the top and it's feeling particularly snaky. <laughs> um, so we're just coming out of winter where all the snakes in Australia come out of hibernation. Barefoot, yep, that's real smart, Angela. Gorgeous view though, worth the climb and the risk of snaked. If you've been wondering why there's a boat on the beach, it's definitely not there on purpose. The owners had anchoring issues when they arrived and while dealing with that, they ended up in shallow waters and weren't able to get back off. They ended up jumping off and clinging to a beacon for 45 minutes with kids until help arrived. We watched as they fixed holes, dredged and pumped all day, preparing for high tide at 10 p.m. that night, hoping to drag Fury the Fourth off the sand. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 
Four wheel drive is the only way to get around the island as there's no sealed roads. There's so much to see here, so we will definitely be coming back. I'm particularly excited to see Dolphin Lake, which is a lake shaped like a dolphin. We didn't catch any fish at Tangaluma as you're not allowed to spearfish, but luckily we still had some coral trout left over from our Lady Musgrave experience. It's a bit hot, just coming out of the oven. So good. Okay, who's first? At 10pm we headed to watch Fury the 4th being saved from becoming the 16th shipwreck at Tangaluma. <laughs> the cheerleaders. <laughs> Yay. The moon was so bright we were able to make moon shadows. We go and give them a hand with our dinghy. <laughs> 15 horsepower dinghy. They're moving backward. Are they? Yeah. I think they are. They move backward a lot actually. It is high tide right now. And the other is moving forward. Unfortunately they weren't successful in their attempts that Come night on. and we headed back to our boat. The next morning I woke up at 6.30 and the only thing I wanted to do was paddle boarding. A total of 15 vessels were sunk at Tangaluma, five ships in 1963, five in the 1970s and a further five in the 1980s. Their names are Yuki, Bream, Seal, Dolphin, Morong, Kookaburra, Bumagi, Maribara, Iceberg, Eshenes, Ramora, Platypus II, Pelican, Groper and Stingaree. I let the current take me around as I sat and enjoyed the surroundings. I even managed to get an accidental turtle shot.
I was out exploring for so long that Alex got a little bit worried. Ready for a little scuba this morning? I hadn't scuba dived in over a year, so don't mind my very novice style as I'm still new to it. At first we needed to figure out how many weights I needed and I was so nervous my buoyancy skills went completely out the window. Alex kept coming down to check on me. I had so much fun and a diving compressor and underwater camera is on the top of my wish list. I reluctantly came back up after diving around the nose of one of the wrecks. I'd had so much fun down there. I saw some giant nudie branches and all kinds of exciting fish. Our friends needed to be back that night, so we pulled up the anchor and started our five hour journey home. The winds picked up nicely so we were able to put both sails up and just cruise on home. We were happy to find out that the Coast Guards were able to help Fury the Fourth float again.